ago. I started my life in 1853 in Grootsender, Netherlands. My parents' names were Theodorus and Anna. My father was a preacher. When I was eight, I went to school near home. I preferred to be alone looking at trees, bugs, and birds. Also after school, my mother Anna would take us to the field to draw. And I loved this. I would even take bugs and plates home to finish the drawing later. When I was around 20 years old, I decided to get a job at my grandfather's place where he sells art. I was an art dealer there, and this is where I got the idea of painting myself. Two years later, I got bored, so I tried teaching in a math boarding school in England. And then I went to London. While I was there, were over 650 letters to my brother. During that time, I started to read the Bible every day, and I decided I really wanted to become a preacher like my father. I was hoping that I could help the poor and live under the service of God, but that didn't work out. I trained painting, and I realized I couldn't stop. I then met other artists, and they had told me to try and paint more colorfully, so I did it, and I loved it. Before I painted with bright colors, I had painted dark colors paintings in the style of the old Dutch masters. Although I had made over 900 paintings and 1,100 drawings in my lifetime, I was often very poor and would have no food or wine. And if I needed to, I would eat paint and drink paint thinner. As you can imagine, this is not the best thing to be doing. My friend, a fellow artist, and I were living and working in a studio together. My friend and I had an argument. Later, I had cut my ear off because of anger and gave it to a lady on the street. After that, I was committed to a mental hospital. It was there, from my room, that I had painted my most famous and colorful painting, Starry Night. A little known fact about me was that I was very colorblind. After I got out of the hospital, I then moved to live near the hospital in case I needed help again. But in my life, I did not have much happiness, so I shot myself. I tried to hit my heart, but missed. I regretted trying to kill myself, but the damage was too great. Sadly, I died a few days later at age 37. My paintings were not very much appreciated when I was alive. I'd only sold one in all that time and had sent most of them to my brother. After my death, my brother then died shortly after. But thanks to my sister-in-law's efforts, who now has all the paintings and letters, today they are selling for tens of millions of dollars. I am very busy and I need to continue painting. Thank you. Dr. Philip McGraw, who is known as Dr. Phil, was born in Venita, Oklahoma. He graduated in 1975 from Midwestern State University with a BA in psychology. He also has an MA and PhD from North Texas University. He is the son of Joseph J. McGraw and Jr. and his wife, Ann Geraldine. He grew up with two older sisters, Deanna and Donna, and a younger sister, Brenda. He has two children by his wife, Robin. Jay and Jordan. He became a psychologist because he was influenced by his father, who was also a psychologist. He is famous because of his shows, books, and Oprah. If it wasn't for Oprah, he wouldn't be famous. He also performed with Good Charlotte on the James Corden show, where they played lifestyles of the rich and famous, and he previously appeared on the WWE Raw. He is known for being critically acclaimed talk show host and psychologist, even though he hasn't held a license to practice psychology in 14 years. Currently, he is working on his show and his foundation. He wants to be remembered for helping people. Hello, I am Michelle Obama. I was born on January 17, 1964, on the south side of Chicago. I am an American lawyer and author who was the First Lady of the United States from 2009 to 2017. I am married to Barack Obama. We have two children named Malia and Sasha. I am famous for serving a role model for children and women, working as an advocate for poverty awareness, education, and nutrition. One of my main accomplishments was to the Let's Move campaign that aimed to reduce childhood obesity. I would like to be remembered 
for my Let's Move campaign. My help with the educational system, making sure children were active and with their future goals, being uplifted and encouraging. Thank you. Hello, I am Gabriella Wilson and I am 22 years old. You may know me as her. I am a singer slash songwriter and I am half Philippine and half African American. I grew up in the Bay Area of Villa Joe, California with my little sister and my mom and dad. I was introduced to the public as a hardworking and dedicated child. Later in my life, I went to Radio Disney and talked about the Disney show, The Next Big Thing. I finished elementary school and graduated from high school and decided to skip college and go right into my music career. I knew how to sing and play five instruments when I was a kid and wanted to make a career out of it. I wanted to become a professional singer and I did exactly that. I am most known for being an American singer slash songwriter. I made many accomplishments in my life, such as being nominated and winning many Grammys. I am currently working on making more songs, and most of all, I want to be a I want to be remembered as the best R&B singer, which I am right now. I'm Steve Jobs, 56 years old, and I co-founded the tech company Apple, while also having multiple different companies, including Pixar being bought. I was born in San Francisco, California, and I had a mom, dad, and sister, Claire Jobs, Paul Jobs, and Aaron Jobs. I, and I also had a wife and three kids, Lauren Jobs, Lisa the Jobs the V Jobs and and then I took place in Reed College and dropped out the first semester. I wanted to have a personal computer so so I made a tech con company called Apple. I became famous from Apple and made a big breakthrough in the tech world with smartphones. I launched multiple product failures and tried to sell Pixar multiple times. I became most famous for Apple. It was such a life-changing thing that I became rich and famous with it. I got diagnosed with pancreatic neurodynamic tumor in 2003. And I died of less respiratory arrest related to the tumor at 56 on October 5th, 2011. I wanted to be remembered as brilliant, demanding, charismatic, and prickly. That was a glimpse into my life. And I also have the poster that I worked on. This is what I've got here. I have Steve Jobs right here, one at a presentation, one I drew here, Apple logos, a bit of that and another one. So that was my presentation. Hi, my name is Genghis Khan. I was born on April 16, 1162. I was born at Diaglu Badog. My birth name is Tim Eugen. I have three brothers and no sisters. I had a blood brother, his name was Jumuka. He was my childhood friend. Growing up, I trained as a Mongolian warrior in 1187. I married a woman from the Ojete tribe. With my wife, I had 10 kids. I was responsible for uniting all Mongolian tribes. I offer rewards if they were to join my army. Me and my army won the Battle of Thirteen Sides. I became the first emperor of the Mongolian Empire. In the year 1206, I was named Genghis Khan of the Mongolian Empire. I built an empire that was 9 million square miles long. 
I died on August 18, 1227. My family ruled the empire. Hi, my name is Amber Michelle. I was born on June the 2nd, 1988 in London, Canada. My height is five feet and five inches tall. I'm 31 years old. My mom and dad's name are Wendell and David Michelle. I graduated high school. I have a brother and I have no children. My husband's name is Sean Schroener. We got married in 2019. We live on a farm in Alberta, Canada. I wanted to be an actress at age eight. I've been in lots of TV series and movies. On my downtime, I help out rehab centers and wildlife. <clears throat> and I even work on my own farm. I became an actress in 2000 as I started on a TV series called Super Rupert. <laughs> I was nominated in 2003 for Youngest Artist Award in the TV movie, The Elizabeth Mark Story. I became a famous, uh, I became famous of the TV series, Heartland. I started acting in Heartland in October 2007 and ended 2019. After the series, I went on and continued uh, to act in many other movies. Uh, I'm currently working on filming the next film I might be. Uh, carrying, uh, doing the next film of Heartland. As I also continue working on my magazine, uh, Life and Style, uh, I am also working on my jewelry line, Amber Michelle Jewelry, and that's it really. And here are some pictures. Uh, here's uh, her as a picture for New Year's mm -hmm. on Heartland. Here's her and her mom, uh, her and her dad, and here's her and her mom. That's her on Trooper Rupert. That's her. This is some magazines. That's when she got married, and oh my God. And that's just a regular magazine. That's when she uh, was a little kid and it was Christmas. And that's her working at a rehab center. And that's her jewelry line. Okay, bye. Hello, my name is Chris Brown. I am three years old, I'm a singer dancer, actor, and rapper. I started to perform in 2005. I was born on May 5th in Virginia. I graduated from Hexes High School. I have one older sister named Latrell. When I was younger, I enjoyed singing in my church choir, and I was inspired by music artists like Sam Cooke, Stevie Wonder, and Michael Jackson, along with learning dancing moves from my favorite idol usher. I have used these inspirational people to learn techniques to further my career. When my career started to take off in 2005, I knew that I would be non-stop from there. And I also wanted to act and rap along with my singing and dancing. I had a small role in the hit movie Stomp the Yard in 2007 after I became more hands-on being music. Hi, I am Martin Brownlee, but my original name was Martin 
Jeremy Bromberg. I own Sega, well let's go farther back in time. I was born on August 8, 1919 to Jeanette and Ivory Bromberg. In New York, after I graduated from high school, I worked with my dad and helped build coin slot machines. Before I made games, Ivan Brownberg, Bromberg, my dad, James Humphrey, and I were making jukeboxes. In 1948, I got arrested for attempted robbery. In 1940, 1940, we decided to make a game company called Sega, and our first system was the Sega Genesis. It had 700 games, surprisingly. One of the first ones was Sonic, our mascot. Sonic had 52 games. I am, I am best known for bringing Sega to the next level and making awesome games. Sadly, I die at the age of 89. I am currently making games for the people in heaven with me. Most of all, I want to be known for helping out Sega. George Washington. I was born February 11th, 1731. I am from Virginia. I have a mom and a dad and two children that my wife and I adopted. When I was a kid, I went to school at William and Mary, and I, w and I am a dog lover. I was also the first president of the United States of America, one of my most known accomplishments. Kids in school used to tease me and tell me I would never be a president. Now look at me. People would also say that I had fake hair, which was not was real and and that I also had wooden teeth which I did not I am the only president that actually went in, into battle while being the president I I died December 14th 1799 at the age of 67 from a, a throat infection the doctors thought a blood transfusion would help but it's the is what is the reason why I passed away I want to be remembered as the first president my name is Abraham Lincoln I'm from sinking Springs Kentucky I was born February 5th 1784 I died April 15th yeah I died April 15th 1865 I was Oh yeah, my kids are Ed Edward. Wait, no, I meant to put Edward. Edward Lincoln, Tad, Robert, and William. My siblings are Thomas and Sarah. I died from assassination. Tad, oh wait, no. Ha! Ah, let me see. Ah, I was the. 16th president i wanted to become president because i wanted to free slavery i wear a top hat i don't have one excuse me a black suit i do have one of those but i'm not wearing it black shoes i'm not wearing them mother died october 5th 18 18. I am famous for president. I died at age 54. Education for being president, president of the United States, being president. That's all. And this is Abraham Lincoln. And I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I am 51 and the second oldest out of my three siblings. I've been married to Jada Pinkett Smith for 23 years and I have three children named Jada Smith, Willow Smith, and Trey Smith. I was educated at Overbrook High School and graduated in 1986. I started off as a rapper and won a Grammy in 1988. Then I worked my way up to acting in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Aladdin and Suicide Squad, and Spies in the Skies. I've acted in dozens of movies. Overall, I'm most known for being one of the most powerful actors in Hollywood. I'm currently working on being more active on social media, and most of all, I want to be known for my acting, rapping, and being a role model. And these pictures are me from Spies in the Skies. Hi, I am my 
Michael Jackson. I was born on August 25th, 1958 in Gary, Indiana, not far from Chicago. I was married to Lisa Marie Presley in 1994 through 1996. I later married Debbie Rowe in 1996 through 1999, which we had two kids whose names are Michael and Paris Jackson. In 2000, 2002, my third child was through a surrogate, surrogate mother, and his name was Prince Jackson. My parents are Catherine and Joseph Jackson, which they had 10 children. children. I was the eighth child of the family. I attended public school in Indiana by the age of 11. I was homeschooled and later I obtained my high school diploma. We are a family of musicians and entertainers. I was entering talent shows and entered television shows. I made my professional debut in 1964 with my brothers as Jackson 5. I began my solo career in 1971 with Moto Town Records. I had many albums by 1982. Off the Wall, Beat It, and Billie Jean, just to name a few. The Jackson family was very popular and known by the world. I was 18. I, I won so many awards in, hi, in the history. I was honored by two presidents of the United States. I passed away on June 2009 from a cardiac arrest. I was 50 years, years old at the time of my death. I was a family man who loved his kids. I was a singer, dancer, and songwriter. And I was, I was known for my complicated footwork named the Moonwalk, which I named, which I named myself. I will also re be remembered as the King of Pop. Hello, my name is Harriet Tubman, but I wasn't born with that name. I was born at Thurmanter Ross in 1822 in Dexter County, Maryland. I was born a slave. My mother, father, and siblings were also slaves. My mother worked as a cook in the big house. So as a child, I had to take care of my younger siblings. Because I was a slave, I couldn't go to school. I am most known for saving slaves. I escaped in 1849 using the Underground Railroad. When I crossed to Pennsylvania, I felt like I was in heaven, and I knew that I had to go back to Maryland to help free more slaves. And we had to travel by night and be very, very careful so that no one would catch us. It was a long and hard journey, but overall, I am most known for helping slaves. I passed away in 1913, surrounded by friends and family. Most of all, I wanted to be remembered for never giving up and always helping others. Born, born in December, on December 5th, 1901, in Chicago, Illinois. I am the creator of Mickey Mouse. I am right here. Go ahead. I am a father to two daughters. Um, I am an American entrepreneur. I am a writer, a voice actor, and a film producer. I made Disneyland in 1955. I made Disney World in 1971. And my movies are Mary Poppins, Bambi, Sleeping Beauty, and Jungle Book, and Mickey Mouse. And that's... No. Huh? When did you die? When did you and die? I died on December 5th, 15, 1966, lung cancer, Burbank, California. And, and that's... And that's all, folks. Hi, my name is Jane Austen. I grew up with my mom, Cassandra, my dad, George, my six brothers, Edward, Francis, Charles, James, Henry, George, and my sister, Cassandra Austin. I live in Stevenson, United Kingdom. I am closest to my sister, Cassandra. My sister and I are close because her fiance joined the military as an army chaplain. 
He was sent to the Caribbean where he contracted yellow fever and died in 1797. With this passing, Cassandra never married and neither did I. I believe this is why we stayed so close. We wrote each other nearly every day. I didn't get married, but I did become engaged. I didn't marry because I died at the age of 41 without having ever taken a trip down the aisle. I didn't have any children because I didn't marry. During my childhood, we lived very modest. To save room in our crowded house, my brothers, my sister, and myself were sent to live with a neighbor woman. This will last from the time we were three months old until we were two. Our parents would visit us daily. My brother Edward was adopted by a wealthy childless cousin. My visits to my brother's estate exposed me to the English upper classes. Some obstacles I had to overcome were that there were three wars Great Britain would participate in my short life. In the 18th century society, the male members of a family were given educational opportunities that were not always afforded to the ladies of the household. Fortunately for me, I was born into a family that valued education to both sons and daughters. I, I was encouraged by my family to produce literature. In my lifetime, I did not win any awards. In 1996, I won an award for USC Scripter Award for Sense and Sensibility that I shared with screenwriter Emma Thompson. In 1816, I still started to feel ill with what was probably Addison's disease. Cassandra and I moved closer to my doctors in Winchester. Just two months later, on July 18, 1817, I died and was buried in Winchester Cathedral. A few months after my death, my brother Henry published my two final novels together in a single volume. I want to be remembered for being a good author. My name is Albert Einstein. I was born in Ulm, Germany, March 14, 1879. My dad was Herman Einstein, both engineer and salesman. My mom was Pauline Einstein. She did most of the household work. I had a sister named Maria Einstein who was two years younger than me. My, I went to college, I went to University of Zurich and received a PhD. I also was a physicist and what made me want to become a scientist is my uncle Jacob who introduced me to algebra, his understanding of a higher level of math. I had many discoveries. I had to pro provide evidence to the atomic theory. I had to enable the de determination of Avogadro's number, therefore the size two. I solved a riddle on the photoelectric effects. I proposed a special theory of relativity. I am most known for the equation E equal MC squared. I am also known to be the greatest scientist of the 20th century. I died at the age of 76. I died from abdominal erotic anemia, which is in the lower, is which is in the major part of the vessel. I. My quote is: "Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again." and expecting different results. But fact says, I love the violin. If I was not a, a if I would not be a, if I was not a scientist, I would be a musician. If I still lived, I'm, if I still lived, I married my cousin Elsa. She was my second wife. My quote, imagination is more important than knowledge. Life is like riding a bicycle to keep your balance. You have to move on. This, me as a scientist kept my, the scientist kept my brain to study it after I got cremated. My family was worried about my grave after I died. I had a terrible memory. I didn't win the Nobel Prize for my theory. My words were lost in translation. I also had an illegitimate daughter. We didn't know if she had a severe fever or she died. Hi. Hi, I'm Mary Ham, a soccer player. I was born in March 17, 1972 in Selma, Alabama, but I live in Florence, Italy with my parents, Stephanie and Bill Ham. I have foot two brothers and three sisters. I'm the fourth of their six siblings. 
I attended school at University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. At Chapel Hill. At the age of 15, I was the youngest player to play for the national team. I played for the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team for 17 years, and building me up of any few, of the biggest few bases of any American athlete. I, I took, I took, I won the Olympic gold medal in 1991 and 1992, and I won the the World's Cup in 1990. 1996 and 1999. I was named the FinF's World Player of the Year in both 1999 and 2004. I, I, I won the elect and the inter, international gold scored score gold scored uh, in July June 2013. Until my record was broken by Abby Wombach, an Ameri American player, but still, I was remembered as the most famous female soccer player. And here is a picture of of the. Okay. Here's the picture of the Olympic gold medal. Gold, and. Uh, and here is a picture of the World Cup. It is right there where I'm holding it. And and that's it. Hello, my name is Norma Jean Mortensen, better known as Marilyn Monroe. I was born on June first, nineteen twenty six. In Los Angeles, California, I spent most of my early life in foster care and orphanages. I did not know my father and my and my mother. Gladys de developed psych, psych, psychiatric. psychiatric problems and was placed in a mental institution. At one point, for a few years, I lived with Grayson Doc Goddard who were family friends, but but once Doc's um, job transferred to the East Coast, I went back to the life of foster homes. I attended school at the age of 15 when I dropped out of high school. At the age of 16, I married my merchant marine boyfriend, Jimmy He was sent to serve in the South Pacific, so I became work, began working in a factory in Van Nuys, California. There I was discovered by a photographer and had became a successful model. I had always dreamt of becoming an actress and in 1946, I signed my first movie contract. This is when I became Marilyn Monroe, and I started dyeing my hair blonde. At first, I wasn't considered I wasn't considered acting material because of my voice and figure, but soon, but soon my I, but soon proved my skills. I became a mired in, international star, won a golden globe. I also owned my own production company, Marilyn Monroe Productions, which helped me become extremely successful by appearing in 29 films total. I was also well known for the people I had relationships with. Most rumored I was with President <coughs> John F. Kennedy shortly before my death. Before him, I was married three times to James... Degree, 1942 to 1946, Joe McGago, 1954, and Arthur Miller, 1956 to 1961. I also had a relationship with Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra. 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 On August 6th, on August 5th, 
1962, I passed away at the age of 36 and lost in my Los Angeles home. A bottle of sleeping pills were found next to my bed. Some suspect, suspect murder, but it was officially ruled as drug overdose. Over the years, a number of celebrities such as Madonna, Lady Gaga, and Gwen Stefani imitated me. I was known as one of the most beautiful women who embraced my curves and in, 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 in. I'm Frank Wendell Walker. My dad was born in a candy for blue to Denver, Colorado, where he met mom. Later, I was born on March 12, 1946, in Denver, Colorado. Little also bought my life in Rome because I'm a very proud person. In 1966, I did go to Santa Monica College major in GX for art. From a very early age, I just copied just about any sound of her. I went to squirrels, squirrels, horses, and some dreams. Many people were amazed that I could do this. So I found my dreams and went to college to be a voice actor. <laughs> I am most known for voice of Megatron, but I first of all always play Jones in this TV video. Only thing Scrooge's voice is chosen to. I have been fed Jones voice since 1969. I am the only original for the main voice of Stone Balls in this TV video. Cut to I have been the voice of over 1,200 well-known kids. You can hear me as Bonnie Webber and Dino, Spencer Frozen, Happy Smith as well, Pearl Smith, Megatron Summers, and Kids George, to name a few. The only aspect I had to learn was not to annoy people with my sounds and not to abuse their voice. I just kind of made things, but haven't received a voice for them. I made an idea for art. I am for the voice guy in Hollywood. <laughs> I have the honor to be the sixth actor to appear in two films that go for $1 billion. Overall, I feel so lucky. Overall. Mm -hmm. oh, I, oh, I am most known for was a Megatron. In my business, I feel slowly to be part of this creative game for the last 50 years. The new thing I'm working on is a movie called Scoop, but, you're not, but you cannot see it until later this year. Um, most of what I want for the man who, also what I want to remember for the man who got off, fame, money, and the much value of privacy. I got off by doing the career of my dreams. Hi, my name is Taylor Smith. I'm from Meeting Pennsylvania. I have a younger brother named Archie King Z6. My dad's name is Scott King Z6, and he is a stock broker. My mom's name is Angela Swift, and she is a homemaker. My high school is Linda Clark High School. I sang a Grammy Award in 2008. I sing pop and country. My grandma was an opera singer. I had a guitar I played when I was 16 years old. My first song was Tim McGuire. I sang country when I was 16 years old. When I was a girl, my family had a Christmas tree farm. As you can see, I had a pretty interesting life so far. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Gabby Douglas. I was born December 31st, 1995 in Newport, New Virginia. I have two sisters and one brother. 
Their names are Ariel, Jonathan, and Joyelle Douglas. My parents' names are Timothy and Natalie Douglas. I began training in gymnastics at the age of six, when my sister convinced my mom to enroll me in gymnastics class. At the age of 14, overcoming a number of obstacles, I left Virginia Beach and moved to Westville, O to train with my coaches, Christina Geldo and Katina Pinter. I am famous because I am the first African team all around the events. I am currently a three times Olympic gymnast as of now. I have reached my point in my Olympic career where I feel like I lost a part of my individual self. I have learned a lot throughout my career. One thing I've learned is that we always want to gain something, but if you focus so hard on gaining something, you actually lose it. My name is Ron James. I was born in Akron, Ohio. I was born December 30, 1984. I'm married and I have three kids. I went to Saint St. Vincent St. Mary High School. I became a basketball player because I loved to play it. I am famous for playing basketball and helping the community. Main accomplishments are the goals I had to overcome. Um, three-time champ, three-time MVP, four-time most valuable player, and six-time NBA also. Overall, I'm most known for, known for playing basketball and helping others by creating the school. I'm currently working on making the community a better place. Most of all, I want to be remembered for playing basketball and helping the community. And I pray for the Lakers. Pray. Pray for, I pray for the Lakers and I position a small forward. My name is Marcus Pearson. I was born in Stockholm, Sweden on June 1st, 1979. My parents' names were Bridger and Matava Pearson. I only have one sister. I didn't do well in school. I, I am a high school dropout. I wanted to be a programmer because I had a passion for computers. I took my dad's computers apart when I was only eight years old. I'm famous for creating Minecraft and, found, and for founding the video game company, Mojang, in 2010. The biggest thing I have done was creating Minecraft. I am most known for creating and selling Minecraft to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. I'm working on a successor to Minecraft. I just revealed some, vi some videos from my new project with a sim sim similar design. I really want. I really want. I really want to be remembered for creating fun video games. Hello, I'm Michael Jackson. I was born in Gary, Indiana, August 29th, 1958. I started off in a public school until I was 11 years old. My grades were above average and, and, I expect, and I especially excelled in creative arts. Um, the, by the time my family, also known as the Jackson Five, became famous, we had to leave school and were tutored by a private tutor three hours a day between Monday to Friday. I started out as the lead singer of the Jackson Five, a band made up of my brothers and sisters. Uh, I was the youngest in the group, but I got to be the lead singer. By the time I was 10, the band had a record deal. Our first four singles all went to the number one in the U.S. charts. I earned 17 Grammys, 14 Grammys as a solo artist, one with the Jackson 5, the Grammy Legend Award, and the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. I also earned 26 American Music Awards, 40 Billboard Awards, and 13 Music Awards. I said in a television interview with Oprah Winfrey on Wednesday that my light skin was was a result of a disorder, not intentional bleaching. I'm suffering from vertigo, a rare disease that discolors the face and body. Overall, I'm most known for singing, songwriting, and dancing. I passed away at the age of 50. Most of, most of all, I want to be remembered for being the king of pop. 
And this is a drawing of Michael Jackson I made. <laughs> Hello, my name is Grace Avery Vanderwall. I was born January 15th, 2004. Uh, I'm 16 years old. I'm known for being a singer, songwriter, um, ukulele player, and an actress. I was born near Kansas City. I lived in Lenexa. My parents are Tina and Dave Vanderwall. My siblings are Jacob and Olivia. I went to school in Suffern Middle School. I started singing at the age of three. I'm famous because I sing, write songs, and I'm a ukulele player. One of my main accomplishments is winning America's Got Talent. I acted in the movie Stargirl. It was a lot of fun. In 2018, I went on tour with Imagine Dragons. I got to see places like Wisconsin, Maine, and Michigan. I'm most known for winning the Golden Buzzer on America's Got Talent. I'm currently working on more songs. Um, lots of people have asked me what I want to be known for, but I feel like I'm too young to answer that. I just started going back to a public high school again. I can't wait to see what the future brings me. Hello, my name is Michael Gerard Tyson. I was born and raised on, in Brooklyn, New York on June 30th, 1966. To Lana and Tyson. I never knew my biological father. The man I knew as my father was Jeremy Kirkpatrick. I have two brothers and one sister. My childhood was not a very easy one. I've always had a speech impediment and I became addicted to drugs at a very early age. In fact, you may not know this, I used to take drugs before my fights. And by, by the time I, I dropped out of school and did lots of petty crimes that led me in and out of Bridges Juvenile Detention Center. One incident, I recall, is that a bully stole my pigeon. I told him to give it back my pigeon, but he broke my pigeon's neck in front of me and wiped the blood on my shirt. I became so mad that I hit the bully with a right hook and I knocked him out. I liked the feeling of winning because people were clapping and cheering for me. And all I knew was I wanted more. But by, by the age I was 13, I've been arrested 38 times, it, it, which landed me in Tyrant School for Boys. To my boxing capabilities caught the eye of a former boxer and counselor, Bobby Stewart. It was Bobby who introduced me into Cus Diamato. Under Diamato's training and guidance, I, got, I became the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. But I started boxing professionally in 1985. I won the WBC title in 1986. I went throughout my boxing career. I had a total of 58 fights, 50 wins, 44 by knockout, two, 6 losses, and 2 no contests. I've also, also, I became infamous for the fight against Evander Holyfield when I bit off a piece of his ear and I, I lost that fight. I, but I retired from boxing in 2005 to become a dedicated father to my children, six living, born deceased. Exodus passed from uh, at the age of four and from a freak accident. That was a very sad time in my life and I'm still trying to wonder to this day how. I've accomplished many things outside of the boxing ring. Did you know that I also have a video game titled Mike Tyson Punch-Out? I also done some acting in my career. I've appeared in movies such as IP Man 3, The Hangover, and Medea's Family Funeral. I also have a website of different businesses that I own, one titled Hot Bot Scene, uh, that, which is a podcast. I have a HBO special titled Undisputed Truth. Did you know that I have a wax statue of me in Madame Tussauds in Las Vegas? I also reside in, Ma in Las Vegas. My home is the Henderson Ranch. I am happy to say that I am drugs free and 
every day I strive to become a better version of myself than I was the day before. Thank you for listening to my story. I am Lincoln. I was born on February 12, 1809 in Indiana. We lived in a poverty-stricken area near Hodgeville, Kentucky. My parents were Thomas and Nancy Lincoln. My father was a farmer and my mom tended to the home and children. I have an older sister named Sarah and, a br and I had a brother named Thomas, but he died when he was three days old. My mother died when I was nine, leaving my sister Sarah in charge. I loved learning, but I didn't go to a formal school. Instead, I had traveling teachers. It was called blab schooling. Teachers came and recited information, and we repeated it back to them. At the age of 33, I got married to Mary Todd without her parents' approval. They wanted her to marry someone rich, like them not poor like me. We had four sons together. I have a passion for politics and law. In 1832, I started in politics. In 1840, I left politics and started my own law practice. Then in 1845, I re-entered politics because I wanted to end slavery and became the 16th president. I was the tallest president at six feet, four inches tall. I'm most known as a president of the United States. I was the first president to, to ever be assassinated. I was 56 when I died on April 14th, 1865 at the Fox Theater. I was buried May 4th at the Lincoln Memorial. I want to be remembered for leading the country during the Civil War in my work to end slavery. My name is Barack Hudson Obama. I was born August 4th, 1961 in Hulu. My first name is one who is blessed. It's Wahali. Well, my father Barack Hudson Obama sir, was from Kenya. His mother Stanley, my my father's mother, Stanley Ann, was from Kansas. From the age six to Obama, I lived in, in Indonesia with my mother and stepfather in 1971. I moved back to Hawaii and lived with my maternal grandparents. I haven't liked ice cream since I worked at Bath Bath. I have wait. Yeah. As a teenager growing up in Hawaii, after attending the Octonal College in Los Angeles for 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 two years, I tra I transferred to Columbia University in New York. In 1992, I married the former Michelle Robinson. Gratitude, whom uh, in Chicago law film, he had two dollars. I had two dollars named Maria and Sasha. Before becoming an Illinois state senator, uh, I worked as a civil rights attorney, community organizer, and professor. As a state senator, I I sponsored and led. I sponsored and led the passage of the Illinois State First Radical Profiling Law, which requires the public to videotape homemade internal gratification as a score in his father's hometown of Kenya, in Kaloya, Kenya, has been renamed the Senator Obama Kaloya Secondary School. In 2008 and again in 2012, I named <coughs> Time Magazine Person of the Year in 2007. I main, for mainly announced my campaign to run for president in November 2008 and served as a 44th president of the United States and for two rights. Hello, my name is Ariana Grande Butera. I'm 26 years old. 
I was born in Boulder, Florida, June 26, in the June 26, 1993. I have one brother named Frankie who appeared in the TV series Big Brother in 2014. My career started with the Broadway musical 13 and then I moved on to Nickelodeon TV series Victorious and it's a spin-off of Sammy Cat which then, which then led me to my musical career today. Me knowing all my past achievements makes me believe I can achieve more.